Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Made action. Uh, today we're just going to be looking at uh, some few things about this game and a few things I've made over here. Uh, I'll get to them in a moment. Uh, if you don't know what this game is, basically it's Minecraft in space. As you can see below me there's a planet. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick summary. Basically planets are like giant floating disks of space uh, or disks of stuff in space. Um, you can build on them, of course. You can build in space. You can make space stations. Uh, you can make space sta All of your stuff can have gravity on it, and um, you can make starships and fly them wherever the fuck you want, in including straight into that SAR, which my friend did, and it utterly crashed and burned, uh, just like you would expect it would when you fly a spaceship into a star. Now, um, of course, nothing in this is kind of realistically shaped or in scale uh planets from what i understand are bigger than the stars in this game um but that doesn't bother me so much um there's enough space between stars in fact this is the only star i've ever seen in this game i have not traveled far enough yet to f to find another star i don't even know how far you have to go i think it's like uh, a star system is like 16 by 16 sectors and uh the size of this planet is about the size of one sector um and there's a there's a shitload of sectors i'm telling you right now like you just get lost in that shit um but it's pretty cool because like you can set coordinates and stuff and like waypoints so like it'll tell you how to get back to a place that you were at if you know the sector it was at but um over here i got a few ships uh nothing too impressive except these two which uh, i'll be going over last but first i'm going to show you uh some of the ships i made for those of you that understand what this game is all about uh and have already seen videos on it so check this out this is um <laughs> this is my first attempt at like making a proper ship and basically what i did is i took one of the pirate ships and uh, i brought it back and i replaced all the armor with hardened hull which is like upgraded hull right and then i gave it some better shields and then i got rid of some of the the pieces that i really didn't need and i attempted to attack two pirates at once with this and they totally fucking annihilated me these ships frankly just suck i don't know what it is about them but like they're easily destroyed you just fucking they blasted right through my cockpit area and took me out and basically that's how you destroy these is um you go after the ship core which doesn't really make sense to me uh in the future i'd like for that to change because in all honestly uh there's a crap load of systems on a ship that make it function and the fact that you have to only destroy a ship core one single block will render a ship useless is stupid to me of course you can disable like weapons and stuff but um i just think it's stupid that uh a ship core once destroyed is all that was necessary for uh the ship to even function at all and it's it's weird i'd rather see like a combination of systems like interacting and stuff Regardless, uh, I made another ship, and I'll get to that in a minute, it's over there, um, and I took out a whole bunch of pirates, and this is even close to how many pirates I've killed. I've killed maybe 30 pirates. Uh, this was before I learned how to spawn thing it, spawn things in, so that uh, the reason I was going after pirates was because once you take them out, they drop loot, and they drop a crap load of loot. They drop so much loot. I was also going for pirate space stations, and that drops, that doesn't drop loot, it's kind of a bitch to handle, because you have to take out all the turrets uh, on the, the station, but um, once you get inside, there's uh, a decent amount of loot in there too, but um, I can learn how to, I learned how to spawn things in now, fuck looting ships, I'll just, I'll just be god, and uh, spawn that shit in, um, or Satan, uh, I don't know if he can do that, but um, I'm betting he can, uh, you know, black magic and all, uh, so, uh, this this lovely magnificent brick of a ship uh, it was my second attempt when I uh, returned to retaliate against the pirates that destroyed me um, and this ugly piece of shit does a billion times better than that ship the proper ship actually does literally all this is, is a block of thrusters uh, a block of power which there's some inside as well a block of shields which isn't even a large amount of shields but somehow that manages and maybe just as many guns if not a little bit more than that ship uh maybe twice as many even actually um and that's it and all i did was i kept adding storage slots to the back because every time I, I destroyed a ship i built i filled up like half half of those or half of one of those and yeah so 
it's kind of weird. Um, but I like it. It's just like the fact that you can make some ugly ass fucking ship and then just wreck somebody with it. It's so funny. Um, there's a lot of cool things about this game. Uh, so let me get in this ship, right? One thing I like is you can actually just enter the weapons computer and shoot. And you don't actually like fly around or anything. Like you could just enter a weapons system and like fire weapons without actually flying the ship. I wonder, I don't know if I, I haven't tested this yet, but perhaps like a friend could enter the weapon system and you could enter the pilot seat and like they could take on people as you flew around and shit. That'd be cool. That'd be fucking dope. Anyway, so we get in this ship and uh, you can cycle through viewpoints like secondary cockpits oh my god that is just so genius that is so smart because i mean it's hard enough when you put the ship core in the middle of a ship and then you can't see anything so i think that's pretty neat another thing i noticed that nobody else seems to notice is if you shift and right click or no if you shift and scroll out you can actually zoom out while you're in the cockpit of a ship right so you can like see a behind the view like uh view behind the view view <laughs> uh behind the uh ship view uh while you're piloting and nobody seems to know that i've never seen anyone do that in all the videos that i've seen of people playing this game um but you can do that and you can zoom out far you can zoom out very far if i uh zoom out as far as it'll let me that is uh let's see how many digits is that? That's 2,147,483,647 meters away. That is literally 2 billion meters away. Holy shit. That's like 200... Is that 200 million? Is that 200 million kilometers? I think so. I think that's 200 million kilometers. Holy shit. Holy shit. And it freaks out when you zoom in and zoom out that far. But, um... You can get a pretty decent idea of like what your area looks like with all the um the stars and all the planets so you can see like a very large view of that and nobody seems to fucking do that like tip for you guys i just discovered the coolest shit you can zoom all the way out of the fucking universe with this game jesus christ you can't even do that on evil online um which by the way i've started playing it's very fun um <laughs> so uh there's that and um I just thought that was pretty neat. Uh, anyway, we're gonna move on, and I'll show you some of the other things that I made. Let me get back at my uh, my little ship pod thingy that I used to fly around. Anyway, uh, so over here was one of my first ships that I made. I have this big Star Wars book, and uh, for anyone that uh, remembers the first uh, episode, uh, Star Wars Episode One, this is like the Naboo Starfighter. Um, keep in mind, uh, the real Naboo Starfighter is only like. 11 meters long somehow even though it doesn't look like it so this thing is like twice as big as the actual ship is which is very strange because you think a ship that small would not be able to have any sort of defenses on it but i guess it makes sense everything in minecraft is always going to look out of proportion and since this is basically minecraft in space everything in star made is going to look out of proportion somehow um or it's going to be having weird proportions uh because everything's a meter uh, from what I understand, and yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, so, all the, all the, um, the, Jesus Christ, I can't speak. It's, it's fucking four in the morning here, give me a break. Um, all the dimensions in this game are in meters, so I assume that all the blocks are meters. Just like Star, or Minecraft. Jesus Christ. Starcraft. I almost said Starcraft. Totally different game, holy shit. Um, so yeah, I made this. I also made, a uh, Darth Maul ship. But, um, that turned out to be a terrible mess, so I destroyed it. Um, what else is there? Jeez, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing is my salvage ship. Uh, I used this before I, um, could spawn things in, before I learned how to spawn things in. So I was, like, salvaging, like, massive amounts of asteroids with this thing. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you how fucking ridiculous this thing is. Uh, we're gonna fall to the planet, and we might hit the ground. Oh, yep, we hit the ground. Uh, I'm gonna go off the side of this shit, right? And you can see the bottom of the planet. Like I said, it's just a disc. And uh, if we uh, scroll to the salvage weapon computer, I'm just like annihilating this planet, right? And all that rock is going into my inventory and stuff. So basically, I used this before I learned how to um, uh, spawn things in. Um, 
in the future i'll make some like mining ships with that type of power but right now i don't really care um potentially in the future i'll have like a server for this uh probably not too big or public or open uh mind you uh so don't expect to be like allowed on it if you're watching my videos it's mostly just going to be for my friends and for the sake of making videos for my channel but uh in the future i'll be doing stuff with the server hopefully um seems to work pretty nicely so far so i think it'll go well and i think that's what will happen uh, moving on over here uh now everyone draws inspiration from somewhere uh i realize that um if you watch jamsy boy he like drew inspiration from some game called star bound or home bound or something like that i don't know uh, home world that's what it was uh, he drew inspiration for that that's where all his ships come from me i draw inspiration from eve online because that game is fucking dope it's like starship mmo better than world of warcraft any day in my opinion or at least now that i'm not playing world of warcraft <laughs> um so i made two ships from that game the first one that i made was the heron it's not finished yet uh this is a frigate keep in mind this is a frigate and frigates are basically the smallest ship that you could pilot in eve so keep that in mind the ships from here on out get super massively large like i'm talking like no frigate nothing above a frigate class is like less than 100 meters um long this thing itself is probably like oh i don't know 70 to 100 meters uh tall and uh it's supposed to be i think 30 ish meters across or lengthwise um but yeah, so let me uh, show you this. Uh, there's like this cockpit here. This isn't actually where you get in the ship. You get in the ship over here. So there's that. Um, and you can activate the gravity, like I said. All the all the stuff that you build can have its own gravity. So like you can jump on this thing and like watch. Check this out. I'll get in the ship. Uh, and I'll rotate this. Will it let me rotate? There we go. We're rotating, right? See me rotating? It's very slow because it's a very big ship. Um, so we're rotating. I'll go to the front view, right? And now, oh god, I have to stop. <laughs> stop the rotation, please. Um, we're going to get out. And I'm still in the gravity. But if you look, the planet is <laughs> over there, uh, sideways. Oh my god. It's amazing. I love that. It's it's freaking fantastic. Um, we open up the door and we fall inside, and this thing is basically chuck packed, chuck full, chuck packed, no, nah, chuck full, of um all of its systems. There's uh antimatter cannon here, there's a missile array here, and uh, there's a bit of storage just for storage sake. Um, and of course, we can close this and open this and get out. And this, oh, I love this. It just it just feels like a massive ship when you look at it like this it's just i think it's really cool um and uh yeah so there's the heron that i made uh i'll show you a picture of what it actually looks like um in game in the eve online game and uh, over here i made a fighter this is an amar fighter it was like the easiest fighter that i could make off the uh, off the top of my head because figuring out curves and anything that's related to minecraft is just a bitch so i I got the one that had the less amount of curves. I can't even speak right now. I am so sorry. The less amount of curves. Jesus Christ. Fucking. Oh my god. Um. Anyway. So I made this ship. Uh. Keep in mind. Also. Uh, I'll be posting both of these ships on. Like. The internet. Because you can like. Save schematics for ships. And import them. And export them. And all that crap. So uh, I'll put both of these ships. On the forums for StarMade. And I'll provide links in the description. Uh, when I post this video, when they're both finished, and uh, you can get them uh, for yourself if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, the ship is uh, really small; doesn't have a lot of firepower, um, as you can see. It's doing like one damage, which, from what I understand, is not correct. Um, maybe it is actually. Oh Jesus! How did that happen? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I think I know, I think I know. Have to um, connect this computer with the other... The other cannons, because I didn't do that. I had to adjust something and move the cannons. So now, that's doing more damage. Um, 
Only one of them is hitting. There we go. So you can see the shield effect and stuff. That's pretty cool. What the fuck did I just do? Somehow I'm floating away. Um, which is pretty nice. Also, the cannons on this for some reason are firing down. I don't know why. This game is an alpha, in case you're wondering, and it's a bit buggy sometimes, but it still works pretty fine. Um, surprisingly, and I'm, I'm very happy that it works fine. So, um, this thing is supposed to be uh, able to go fast very quickly, and as you can see, it is going pretty fast. Um, game's speed limit at the moment is like 50 kilometers per hour, which is pretty lame, and if you ask me, but uh, that's totally okay. Um, you can change that manually in like your server settings or something, but uh, come over here and shoot at that ship. Um, and another really cool thing is, uh, like I uh, showed you a few seconds ago, you can adjust the things on this. So if I want to increase the, uh, the speed of which this thing fires so it looks cooler, and it doesn't actually do a lot of damage, I put all this, these points this percentage more into reload than I do into any of the others and I'll do the same thing with this one real quick as fast as I can because you have to do this fucking one click at a time which really sucks but uh the damage has gone down to 35.8 instead of 50 and uh I'm turning up the reload now there so now this thing fires way faster and now it's only doing one damage. What up with that? Oh shit, okay. I guess that makes sense. But it's going and shooting faster, which in my opinion is what a fighter would really do. And uh, this this little fighter probably won't be able to take down this thing's shields, but uh, I think it's pretty cool that you can change that. God, that's so freaking sick looking. God, I cannot wait till I make bigger ships. I'm gonna make like massive ships in the future. Oh God, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be so great. You have no idea. I'll show you those two in the future, um, and I'll post those for download as well when I, the time comes. But um, frankly, that's all I wanted to show you at the at this moment. Uh, these two ships, you'll be able to find a download link in the description. Uh, I don't really have anything else planned for this episode. In the future, I might be doing a let's play of this game. I don't exactly know yet. Um, few other things uh, I got on my list of stuff to do uh, in my personal life so my YouTube channel is taking the back seat until a lot of it's done unfortunately but um yeah I hope you like this I hope you uh, enjoyed what I have to show here today um, some pretty decent stuff some not amazing stuff yet but in the future it'll be pretty amazing um, and uh, yeah I hope you uh, enjoyed this video comment rate favorite subscribe tell me what you think of this stuff. Tell me if you want to see more of my magnificent spaceships that I create in the future. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time. Click the link at the end of the video to watch some of my other stuff. And peace out. I forgot to mention, one of the best things about this game is the fact that you can get on a server, right? You can get on a server, you can just fucking fly into people's ships, and they fucking go flying. Oh my god, that is the most hilarious shit I've ever seen. You could just fucking send someone's ship into space by bumping into it. It's so fucking hilarious. Like, just, just fucking take a ship and go like that while somebody's working on it, and it fucking flies away. Oh my god, it is hilarious. I suggest you all do that. I'm encouraging trolling just this once. Once. Um... Because <laughs> it is fucking hilarious. It was, it was, seriously, I, in the two seconds that I did that, it was pretty fun to just go into someone's ship and be like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. And, uh, they do stop. Um, just take some of the fun out of it and some of the frustration as well. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. Peace for real this time. For realsies. For realsies, guys. Over here I got a few ships, 
Uh, nothing too impressive except these two, which uh, I'll be going over last. But first, I'm going to show you uh, some of the ships I made. For those of you that understand what this game is all about uh, and have already seen videos on it. So check this out. This is... Um, <laughs> this is my first attempt at like making a proper ship and basically what I did is I took one of the pirate ships and uh, I brought it back and I replaced all the armor with hardened hull which is like upgraded hull right and then I gave it some better shields and then I got rid of some you could build on them of course you could build in space you can make space stations uh, you can make space sta all of your stuff can have gravity on it and um, you can make starships and fly them wherever the fuck you want and s including straight into that SAR which my friend did and it utterly crashed and burned uh, just like you would expect it would when you fly a spaceship into a star now um of course nothing in this is kind of realistically shaped or in scale uh, planets from what I understand are bigger than the stars in this game um, but that doesn't bother me so much um, there's enough Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Made action. Uh, today we're just going to be looking at uh, some few things about this game and a few things I've made over here. Uh, I'll get to them in a moment. Uh, if you don't know what this game is, basically it's Minecraft in space. As you can see below me there's a planet. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick summary. Basically planets are like giant floating disks of space. Uh, or disks of stuff in space, um, space between stars. In fact, this is the only star I've ever seen in this game. I have not traveled far enough yet to f to find another star. I don't even know how far you have to go. I think it's like uh, a star system is like 16 by 16 sectors, and uh, the size of this planet is about the size of one sector. Um, and there's a there's a shitload of sectors. I'm telling you right now, like you just get lost in that shit. Um, but it's pretty cool because like you can set coordinates and stuff and like waypoints so like it'll tell you how to get back to a place that you were at if you know the sector it was at some of the the pieces that i really didn't need and i attempted to attack two pirates at once with this and they totally fucking annihilated me these ships frankly just suck i don't know what it is about them but like they're easily destroyed you just fucking they blasted right through my cockpit area and took me out and basically that's how you destroy these is um you go after the ship core which doesn't really make sense to me uh in the future i'd like for that to change because in all honesty 